Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade if you are new and if you are a continuing viewer or subscriber then thank you very much for tuning in to watch another one of my videos. So recently we had a super full moon. Um, it was a pink super moon as far as I'm aware and it was absolutely gorgeous. I will see, um, I've never inserted a picture before but I'm going to see if I can um, insert a photo by here for you. Um, which is something I took from the room next door uh, to this one and um, yeah just absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it was really really pretty all in all it was just a lovely evening it was really relaxed really really nice I used my Moonology deck and I used the Spirit Animal deck and I also used one of the cards out of the Universe Has Your Back deck as well this is the booklet that comes with the Moonology cards and these are the cards that I dealt. So I don't really do anything too specific when I pull my cards. I usually just ask the universe what I need to know and I just sit quietly, get into like my own head really calm, ask the universe what I need to what I need to know or if there's something that I need to know and then I just sort of hover my hand around the cards and then I just pick the first three or I separate them into three piles and then pick one off each. So yeah, so the first one which I'm going to talk about is quite funny because it is actually a full moon card and I don't think I've ever pulled this one before and it says surrender to the divine full moon. So again, I will show you the card. The artwork on these cards are beautiful. I think they're really, really pretty. And then that is the design that's on the back as well. So really, really nice. I have found the section in the book that covers um, this card. So it's, it reads, the very word climax brings all sorts of ideas and images to the mind, agreed. But it really is the feeling of this card. Life is coming to a head, a point, a conclusion, or a turning point. There may be some kind of change, or possibly even some sort of new emotional explosion. Tune into your emotions now and see what they're telling you. You are very likely close to the surface. Oh, sorry, they're very likely close to the surface, no matter when the moon card is pulled. Matters will soon conclude and you'll find out whether or not your wishes are going to come true. The odds are in your favour as this is a positive card, but you may need to work harder than usual to keep cool as events unfold. So that is, when I pull this one, sometimes when I pull a card, I know what it's talking about and other times I will pull a card and like this one, I sort of read all this and I thought, well, that doesn't really resonate with anything that's going on in my life at the moment, but it might be like the universe is telling me that something is coming up. So who knows? Um, I do like the fact that it says the odds are in your favour. It sounds like something out of the Hunger Games. So attune to the moon. That is that comes up with I am gonna I am getting the answers I need. Additional meanings for this card. A wish you made may about uh, may about to come true. It's make or break time. There could be a sense of madness in the air. Breathe deep and stay calm. You may need to forgive someone to release negative energy. It's time to let go of the past and move on. And then the teaching section, which I always like in the uh, in this, it comes with this pack, if that makes sense. The full moon marks the climax of the lunar cycle. Making this, making this card something of a power card. The full moon is often the time when answers are given to questions asked during the new moon. And pulling this card at any time in the lunar cycle suggests answers will be coming your way before too long. So it's only a very short sort of section because the book is obviously, you know, there's my hand. I mean, my hand is tiny, but still it's a very small section, but it does give you a lot of information, which um, is really, really nice. So then going on to the next card. So a new start is coming and that is a new moon. And that is the card what it looks like. So, found it in the book quicker than I expected and it says a new start is coming, new moon. There is a yes coming your way. This one is totally the most auspicious card of the deck. 
It's totally positive and suggests something new and exciting is developing. The situation you're asking about is blessed and you're on target to achieve your goals. The message from the universe is that you're starting all over again in some way. Be that on a new or better course or just feeling more positive about achieving your desired outcome. If you've been feeling stagnant, this card reminds you that life goes on in cycles and you're moving into a new cycle now. This is time to wipe the slate clean. If the situation you asked about is becoming toxic, either that will clear up now or something totally new and fresh is on its way. Again, <sighs> none, nothing so far is, is like, oh my God, that's relating to something that I'm at the moment. But again, it could be something that's coming forward or in the future, who knows? Attuned to the moon is I, I'll see it when I believe it. And then additional meanings for this card. A new start is on its way. You'll soon start to feel more hopeful about getting what you want. Your belief that your dreams can manifest is working well. Forget about the past. So there is a slight, um, seems to be like forgetting about the past, walking away from the past. Things like that seem to be kind of come, coming out of the two cards that I've pulled so far. <clears throat> and then the teaching. The new moon marks the start of the waxing cycle and the midpoint of the dark moon. It's a dark and veiled time when the moon is invisible and a time of rebirth. It's a time that witches do their work, making wishes and laying down intentions for the new cycle. An intensely magical time when it's easier to pierce the veil to other worlds. That's quite interesting. So the two cards that I've pulled out of this moon, Moonology deck so far, I've never pulled before. So reading that is, is all new to me. Never read it before at all. So that's, that's really, really exciting. And then the last card that I pulled is Expect Powerful Change, New Moon Eclipse. So that is the card. Again, the artwork is just exquisite. So the last card that I obviously pulled is Expect Powerful Change, New Moon Eclipse. So that's the card just again, just to show you and what it says in the book. If you want, affirma if you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome of the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings and there are powerful energies at work, but be prepared. It could be quite a ride and events now could and events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you take will almost lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason that you'll appreciate later on. A new portal is opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You are being put right back on the right path. There is nothing to fear. Attune to the moon. Never let Never mind the past, life evolves every single day. Additional meanings for this card. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. You're being shunted towards your life's purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. And this is an important turning point in your life. So again, never pull this card, but there's a lot there about letting go of any negativity and letting go of the past and things like that so um who knows maybe i've got a bit of work to do and then just going back on to the teaching <clears throat> the new moon eclipses are among the most exciting astrological events they herald a complete change of pace it is as though you're headed in one direction but probably being guided by your ego and then here comes the divine the goddess or spirit to turn you instead to face the direction you actually need to go. Regardless of whether or not there's a new moon eclipse happening when you pull this card, it is a powerful affirmation of positive turnarounds. So, all in all, I, I actually am really, really pleased with those cards. Now, I pulled them, but I didn't read about them until right now when I've done this video, because I wanted to kind of have, um, not a true reaction, but... I wanted to kind of be with you when I read about them. So yeah, there seems to be a lot about, like I said, letting go of the past, letting go of negativity, moving forward. And I have a lot going on for me at the moment, which is really happy. So I am moving towards new things and new adventures. So the cards are speaking the truth there. 
Quickly going on to the Universe Has Your Back deck. That's the back artwork of the Universe Has Your Back deck. Now to me, that is a full moon and you're looking up between like a load of trees. That's what that sort of calls to me. It may not be, it may not be that at all, but that's the deck I love. And this is the card that I pulled. So it actually reads, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that I will f and trust that what I focus on will grow. Again, not pull this card. So I'll see if this one ties in with what comes up of the moon the moonology ones. They may all tie in together, I don't know. And then finally, moving on to the um it's called, the, the full name of this deck is The Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Deck by Kim Crams. Now, I really cannot wait to do a, um, a proper review on this because this one, this deck was actually the first one that I ever got and I think, if I remember rightly, the first time I ever saw it was in one of... I think it was one of Kaylin Nicholson's um, videos. Um, she had this deck and she was pulling cards out of it and I just felt drawn to it. I wanted that deck because for one, even if you do not use these decks, the artwork on these cards is exquisite. I could quite happily have all the cards up on the wall behind me and never use them for what they're actually intended for because the artwork like I said is just so beautiful it really is I, I cannot wait to finally get around to doing the review on this I'll do a review on all the all the decks I've got because um one I want to share them and two um you know if you are thinking of you know getting any of these because of the videos I've done it's always good to do a review anywho stop rambling Jade so, this is the booklet that comes with the deck. It's quite a thick book, um, but it is, again, very, very detailed. So uh, Kim has done very, very well on that, and I'm so pleased that she actually did do it. So I only pulled one card out of this deck this time. I usually pull three, but due to the fact that it was a full moon, I thought the moonology one should take priority this time. But the card that I pulled this time is this one, which is the spider. Now, again, just take a moment to look at that artwork. It is beautiful, the colours in that web. I hate spiders. They terrify me. I love snakes and rats and reptiles and things, but I do not like spiders. That's when I turn into a right girl. But that is just gorgeous. So, the I found it on, in the book, and this is what each section looks like in I think a little bit further down in the back part of the page there is maybe a two page part depending on the card but this is what you get for the majority of them so there's always a black and white photo of the card there and then the information part on that side. The spider is an ingenious creator its greatest gift is weaving the thread of dharma into a vast intricate web that supports the spider and those around it both financially and spiritually. It is hard work, but the spider neither tires nor becomes impatient. This card reminds us that creativity is everywhere. Be process orientated rather than results orientated. And soon your work becomes like the weaving of a magical priceless tap tapestry. Abundance follows. When in balance, appreciative, enthusiastic and prosperous. When out of balance, discourage, tired, forlorn. To bring into balance, Playful creativity. I'm always nervous when I read out these books that I'm going to say it wrong. <laughs> but that is what the spider card has said. So yeah, so all in all, I think the readings that I've had from the Moonology, The Universe Has Your Back and The Animal Spirit Guide has, has actually been really good. Um, it's been very informative and the, none of the cards have spelt anything negative to me. For this full moon um you know it's all been very very good and i you know i've been using these cards now for quite some time and touch wood uh none of them have ever spelt doom and gloom which is very good um but 
you know, a fresh start. I mean, we've just moved into our, our own home. I've got, you know, a fresh start could be for my YouTube channel because I finally got the office. We finally got our, new, our own home. It's just a fresh start, wiping the slate clean, a new beginning. Probably what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these cards. I have had them up on my windowsill um, for the, since I did the reading. I'm really pleased with the cards that I've, that I've pulled. Um, I'm gonna leave them up on my windowsill for another couple of days and then I will do a fresh reading or I will turn around and just pop them back in their boxes until such a time where I decide to do another reading or I may wait until the next full moon. Who knows? I don't really ever have a, um, a, sh a schedule of when I do do my readings. I just seem to do them when I want to, when I feel like it or if there's a full moon. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope you all enjoyed um, hearing about the information that came from the cards that I pulled. If you are interested in any of the decks that I've got, please leave a comment down below or if you have any of the decks that I have, leave a comment down below because I would love to hear what your uh, views are on the cards and the decks and the artwork and everything else. But I hope you all did have a good full moon and if you um, have any rituals that you do on a full moon or if you did anything nice, again, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about it. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video. See you soon. Bye.